What is up, everybody? Since oh, you're not going to give me the finger point. Times isn't going to start us off. I didn't know if I would do it properly enough yeah, for you. He might. Oh, look at that. Somebody just subscribed. <laughs> cutting us right off. Thankfully, it's not cutting us diagonally, cutting right across the stream, if you will. Nobody would ever notice, though. <laughs> I love it. All right, Himes, you can get us rolling. Oh, wow. What in the world is going on? I think Valkyrie is now your wife. I love it. I love seeing it. Thank you for everybody's support. Special shout out Valkyrie. before we get started here. We're gifting, we're gifting subs away to viewers right now via Valkyrie. That is awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I'm going to make sure we don't cut across your packaging. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Breakers. My name is Fat Finger Times. Join along with. This is Joe again. And tonight we are breaking 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball for you guys. Before Joe butchers and screws up everybody's name, but I want to be critical of him and point out everything. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on all our social media pages at Bearded Breakers, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You can find the panels below, which will take you to direct links to those. We also have the new and improved beardedbreakers.com up and going. So make sure you get on there and uh, look at that for us. Um, Joe, you want to butcher some names? Yeah, on top of um, beardedbreakers.com, you'll notice on the front page of our website now, we have a quick... Um, transfer link to take you to our Facebook community page. Um, just a sidebar of what's going on here. I know everybody currently is buying and bidding and um, functioning through eBay, and we fully support that, and that's obviously how we built um, Beer Breakers thus far. But we're, we're trying to supplement that, and we have a Facebook community page where we want to invite everybody that's, uh, you know, broke with us before or breaking with us, however you want to say that, um, to this page. As we uh, we plan to do some exclusive breaks, and there's also some additional benefits to uh, joining. So if you guys are interested, go ahead, follow on over there. Like I said, you can go, um, you can get there through our website, or you can just go on your own Facebook and and find it that way too. So we um, we invite all of you guys. We're looking forward to some free shipping opportunities, some giveaways, some discounts, um, a buy sell trade amongst everybody. So if somebody pulls a Bo Jackson short print and another person wants to get it, they can buy it off that person, um, and some voting upon what we're going to be doing next, that kind of thing. So we're excited about it. We're in the very infant, early infant stages, but, again, just trying to uh, broadcast everybody so they can hear us. Valky, I don't know how I feel about those emojis they're using. <laughs> Valky's got access to very random emojis. I like it. Keep using them. They're not actually emojis. They're, they're called, um, I don't know what Twitch calls them. They, they have a special name to them. But anyways, let us let's let us continue so we can get this break rolling for everybody. Um, so to butcher everybody's name, as Himes likes to say, I will read off everybody's eBay username in alphabetical city order. Yes, emotes. Thank you, Valky. Um, starting us off, Diamondbacks Lang three one, Braves A T K I Chris, Orioles T T Fly Ock, or O C T seven, Red Sox. J O R T H A three five Cubs J R T I B B L E S White Sox Lamont Dash Collector Reds Huff Dash Daddy nine five one not Puff Daddy but Huff Daddy just like the bicycle uh, Indians Red Rock Athletics Rockies K Y L Dash S P A R G I'll reference you as Kyle moving forward just so you hear that. Um, Tigers, Crazy Kev 4 Bar, Astros, Quarter Auction Love, Royals, Valkyrian 7 8. Thank you on giving and gifting tier one subs to viewers. Um, we appreciate that. Special thanks to Valky. Angels, Lang 3 1, Dodgers, JB 1 3 Fire Sticks, Marlins, Kyle, Brewers, DED 1971. Twins, Mets, and Yankees, the FRS. Athletics, Kyle. Phillies, TYMCC-8. Pirates, Pirate Rich. That's an interesting one. Must be a rich pirate fan. Um, or just likes 
pirates. Oh, pirate kind of like a, I think of like a rich fuel. Like you're running either lean or rich. He's very rich on pirate pirate uh, memorabilia. But anyways, Padres, Kate's Christmas or Kate's Xmas. Happy holiday times. We did come across uh, a couple Santas roaming the streets yesterday in downtown Cleveland. Um, Giants, Kyle. Mariners, Mariner fan 2-4, go figure. Cardinals and Rays, Star Seeker ENT. Uh, Rangers, Kyle. Blue Jays, 9798, AK09. And last but not least, Nationals going to DED-1971. Thank you. Special thanks to everyone joining us here tonight. Those of you that are returning and those of you that are new, we will go over just the explanation on what we got coming on up. But I'll cut it this way. I don't want to cut the packaging. Actually, I don't. I didn't get to watch any else breaks on these boxes. I don't know if it's a, a flapper on the top. It looked like it from the box. There you go. Look at that. Oh, Tanny. On the top with the box topper. So there you have it. Welcome to Bearded Breakers once again. And here is the first Gypsy Queen case break. And let me catch up on the chat. Valky is Valky, you gotta spend more money than is going wild. He's saying women can just call me God. It must three, have been after the emotes that he was using. Three chrome cards inside of this. Quail place. says hi. Hi, Quail. Uh, sounds like a Phillies fan. Can we get? Can we ban Starseeker? We can't ban somebody right away. Unless there was a legitimate reason. As Heinz is opening the box topper to box number one. These are the chrome three cards Matt in each pack. Kind of sticky. There are autographs in these box toppers. Jose Ramirez. Not promised or guaranteed, but obviously ideal if we can get one. James Paxton. Um, what else we got going on here? Valky's saying whoever outbids me in the Cardinals deserves a perma ban. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Um, these cards have logo swaps. That's correct. Also, no names and Jackie Robinson Day cards. Yes, Himes is a big fan of Jackie Robinson Day cards. Um, five or six cards, which ones typically are goods in the normal pack. So, Himes might have to do some mathematics. Uh, he was getting the hang of it. Valkyrie For those of you that broke with us on Heritage. What's that? So, Valkyrie can count for me. Valkyrie, if you want to count, you're more than welcome. Cardinals are no good anyway. I don't know. Goldschmidt's doing his thing. I have Flattery in a couple of fantasy teams, and he's not he's not helping me out too much. But um, let me just say this so I can get, I say it before I forget. Um, for those of you that are new, and don't ask Joe that question. He thinks so. Designs wear a special helmet. I mean, it depends how you consider a special helmet. Us yeah. linemen usually get the extra bars going across, if you know what I mean. Um, but what I want to say, just regarding the break, for those of you that don't break with us frequently, for products that have a larger volume, usually over 500 cards, we will rip through one box at a time, go through all the packs, put them in a stack, and then grab a few and show them all off. Um, and this particular style product, it will, will probably be a little bit slower, especially because we're not familiar just yet with our first break, but uh, we want to try our best to catch the short prints, um, like Valky said in the chat. The no names and, and whatnot. So uh, we'll do our best we can. If you guys see something that we don't, let us know. And then, as always, as obvious as I can say it, all the hits are going to be showed during the break and then at the very end of the break um, as kind of like a little recap. So, again, just to give everybody a heads up on what's going to be happening here for probably about the next hour or so. Valky, you were shot out of a freaking cannon today. Valky had coffee or something, I think, or an energy drink. I like it. A little lively chat today. We haven't had one of those in a little while. Valky, I heard you were a Cubs fan. <laughs> Valky uses the, oh. the profanity. Oh. No profanity. Got to be very PG, PG-13 at tops. Oh. Oh, Valky. <laughs> um, let's see. Double entendre there, Valky. If Valky won the Cubs, would we burn them on air? Um, I mean, 
we could be creative. I don't know if we would do it exactly on a live stream or not. I mean, it's almost like those, I used to be a sneakerhead back in the day, and it's almost like people used to buy, like, the Yeezys and all that stuff and, like, just buy them to get clickbait, if you will, so they'd cut, light them on fire on YouTube. We did a lot of bad things today. <laughs> all right, so. So this is five. I have the number times for the, the codes on the short prints, but... Looks like nothing special on either of them. Are you aware of what the uh, logo swaps are? You see how that's got that GQ in the bottom center? Yeah. They'll have it swapped to like this woman. It's like a pink face. So you'll notice that. And then obviously if they don't say the names on the bottom, that's also a no-namer. And then uh, Gypsy Queen does have like the bazooka gum backs. And I think from my memory... There's usually, like, greenbacks or something. Um, so we'll probably just, like, not card by card sift through, but kind of just, like, spread them out, flip them on the back side. Fortune Teller Verlander. Little mini for the Tigers. Falky says retired players are usually a short print as well. The Empire. Emperor. All right. A no namer here. Here you go. Really no name. Heath Billmeyer. <laughs> they did it on purpose. So a 93 code number on the back is common. Just so you remember that. Oh, Corbin Burns. Ooh, our first hit. I'm oh, hard auto. Rookie. Who's that going to? The Brewers? Yep. Brewers getting our first hit of the break. That's going to go to DED1971. Congratulations. Oh, you, you want us to write it in there for you? Can you write in his name? <laughs> that is a good idea. He, Corbin Burns wrote that very, like, like dainty. Like, he barely wanted to touch the card with the pen. In my opinion, I've seen people where like they they like indent or imp leave like an impression from the pen, but this is very dainty. Strength, JD Martinez. Uh, Fortune, Nolan Arenado. Ooh. So black and white. Cody Bellinger, 49 out of 50. Nice. Good hit. Cody Bellinger. Yeah, all the, they're all on card signatures. I would agree. And they give you two in each box, which is awesome. So I am expecting 10 autos in this break. I won't complain if we get any more. We'll complain if we get less. Oh, Michael Kopech. For the White Sox. Yeah. That's an interesting autograph. Wow. Looks White Sox. Nice. Going on the board, going to Lamont Collector. Congratulations on your White Sox auto. Rookie card auto. <laughs> so weird. Valky, you're right. And especially the box top, too. If we get an auto in one of those, you get more per box. Obviously. Um, well, I'll wait until tomorrow to get to the box. Nice. Blue Gary. That's cool. So that's a 23. So that's just the base short print.
Do we know the backstory from Fogs this year? I do not know for 100%. I would assume since they've done it like that in years past. The Joker, Acuna. Fortune Teller, Chris Bryant. Oh, uh, Simmons and Drelton Simmons. What's it, what is special about it? Oh, is it a logo yeah. swap? Yeah. Nice hit for the Angels. Another one, Fortune, uh, Soto. Ooh, Brandon Belt, blue border. Out of 250. Nice. 240 to 250. Card numbers 301 and higher are your short prints. <clears throat> yeah, we usually look at the code numbers because our eyesight's so great. <laughs> All right, on to box number two. But what I wanted to say, and I didn't want to interrupt that box number one, is we have Inception being broken tonight uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Bids are ending currently as we speak between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are interested, I think um, the team that just last sold was the Royals. I hope it, they sold to a very loyal Bo Jackson fan. But uh, if you guys are interested... Um, not that I want to drive anybody away from watching live, but if you're interested, maybe grab your cell phone or something and, and bid on the teams that you want to win if it's not too late. Uh, those will be going on here until about 7 p.m. And then we will be breaking live again at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. So get in on it if you can as Himes is ripping open box topper number two for box number two. Good luck. Is that Grinky? Odor? Ooh, Corey Kluber. Nice. That's uh, 106 out of 150, Corey Kluber. Cool hit. What else you got, Valky? You're always full of uh, so much knowledge. Valky's a nerd. Self-proclaimed. Valky, are you ready for Endgame? Endgame of what? Avengers Endgame. Oh, okay. Valky, you take me as the type of guy who's already pre-ordered tickets. Pre-order for what? Pre-order for Endgame. Endgame tickets. You're a nerd. Are you going to that special lounge theater where they have the couches? I don't. I've never watched. <laughs> I didn't even watch the last Avengers. I'm not a. He said he's a nerd. The first thing I thought of. I don't leave my house unless I have to go to work. I do I my humans. best to do that as well. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say I hate humans, but are you an alien, Bob? <laughs> Is that why you're here? Because you know mine and Joe's opinions. On aliens. So we're your case study. Ooh. Okay, well. This, uh, if you if you if you like to reference like Dumb and Dumber, I'd i like to be like Lloyd where he's just like, okay, kill him. Go ahead and shoot him. <laughs> 
or Harry rather. I, I don't know. They're they're both mixed up in my head. It's been so long since. Fuck you! Do I need to buy security from you? Has our friendship gone on for too long? Speaking of security, oh, here we go. Himes and I went to the Indians game yesterday, and I don't know, what inning was it? Seventh, maybe? I think maybe he wanted to just get a stretch in, you know, around the seven inning stretch. A uh, fan chose to jump onto the field and run across the field. I think Ble uh, Barstool or Bleacher Report, one of those social media sites, uh, posted the video, but it was interesting to watch in person, not knowing what to expect for the outcome, but he made like a nice little juke move, if you will. He kind of pointed as if he was going to surrender himself and, you know, just walk next to the gate because he was probably winded or something. Jose and, Ramirez was a giant fan. Yeah, and he uh, he did like a little one-two sidestep or a shuffle, and the, the security guard, <laughs> he bit on it hard. Um. I figured out how it happens. Oh, did you watch the video back? or? No, I just thought about it. Every half inning, a police officer comes out of that door and stands on the Oh, field. so you think he followed him? He didn't follow him because they were already out warming up. The inning was about to start. So the cop probably walked back in and just didn't lock it. The kid probably noticed mm -hmm. it. And, or I guarantee you he looked at one of his friends and was like, I'll run out that gate. <laughs> and then his chance was there. He was probably hammered. Yeah, Himes and I were talking about it after the fact, and we were like, if that was our day job and we were, you know, being a cop at a ball game, we were probably seeing this going, oh, here we go. Like, probably don't want to have to deal with happen. that. Kid's going to tire himself out eventually. Uh, Jose Altuve, fortune teller. These were bigger cops, they weren't little guys. Nice. Edwin Davis, exit. I like that. <laughs> but that's because there used to be a bullpen out in that corner. A five year old girl? Well, that's just bad parenting. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wasn't babysitting very well. Oh, Luis Urias. Nice. Great hit. For San Diego. For the Padres. That's going to be going to Kate Xmas. Congratulations. Very thin autograph. I don't know why we're so critical of their autographs on Gypsy Queen. I said something about it, too. I was... What's his name? Cooks from the Vikings. When you just put what was DK or whatever. Uh, yeah, Dalvin. Yeah. Oh, Max Scherzer, a little uh, logo swap. This guy didn't get tackled either. This guy he, slipped. Yeah, he, he fell and face planted. I did not hear about the Missouri Redemption. Yes, I did read about that. There's uh, unannounced parallels and mystery redemption cards that aren't even in checklists. For Gypsy Queen, Sorry, and it's on the top so. page. Um, it's obviously hard to predict something that's unannounced. So, if we're fortunate enough to pull something, then obviously we'll go about it the best way we can. Potentially, we'll see whatever it is if it happens. Oh, they said. Oh. Rossiel and Glacius. Nice. With the number 26 even. IS number 26. I like. That's more of an initial, huh? But you get the number on there. I like when numbers are on the autos. Lazy. That's and going. It's, it's IS, not even RS. That's going to the Reds. Huff Daddy 951. Congratulations on your closer's auto. That autograph just confuses me. It's not his full name, obviously. Just initials. It's his last name, the Jose.
two of wa two wands, wings, wands, bogarts on um nobody signs a card like Matt Malone. Huh. Was it was it Matt Malone or was uh, it something Malone? Yes, Josh Malone. Josh Malone. For the Bengals. Was he a receiver or linebacker? I don't remember. He actually did end up doing pretty good. Yeah, but he was not, well, he's not a good autograph uh, Why? player. You're so against cursive. He didn't write cursive. Yeah. Oh, R Roberto Clemente. Nice. Short print for the Pirates. You Harry Potter guy. Big Harry Potter fan over here. That's me. Did you shift through the back? Eddie Martinez, no, I I do not see anything on the back of that deck. Uh, actually, I take that back. Williams. That is a bubble gum, baby. Awesome backs. Going to the Twins. Congratulations. I sifted through the, the small little stack, and, and I didn't even expect to see something. And there you have it. Twins getting a cool bubble gum back. I was losing. Hold on. Fortune teller. Here he is. Sean Manea, uh, uh, 250. Did you run through the backs? No, I can't. <clears throat> I always forget. Unlike for those of you that saw the Don Russ cards, they had holographic backs. I like that. But the bazooka backs are really cool in this. And for those of you that don't know, oh that, no name, oh and short print, Roberto Alomar. Wow, that's cool. Really cool hit for the Indians. Roberto. Um, what was I going to say? The bazooka oh, go bubblegum company. That's what Tops originally was. Ten of Swords, Edwin and Tarsian. All by Carlos Santana. Do you think they did that on accident? Hmm. Two Indian legends. I always think these are going to do something in it. All right, box number two. Only time you get two short prints is if one of them is a logo swap or a no name or a bazooka back. Falky, very educated on Gypsy Queen product. I like it. Falky, you can be our educational manager. <laughs> Box number three being cut open. And like always, box topper coming up next. Falky saying. The truth hurts there. Can't pay me off. Uh, sometimes, Rocky. Sometimes. Good luck to everybody. I really like these. They're trying to mimic the, the chrome uh, variations. Joey Gallo. Oh, wow, that They're was... sticky. Bogarts and Jose Martinez of uh, uh, 150. Nice. Very sticky. All right, as time rips open through these, I want to just remind everybody, probably for the last time, we're almost uh, through all of the biddings right now. So if you are interested, we're on, I think we're on the Yankees for Inception. Um, if you're interested, head on over to the eBay page. Win whatever teams you're interested in on, and we will be breaking that at 8 p.m. today.
I'm gonna put Duke side down. Brooklyn versus the Pacers. <laughs> yeah. They did a live line. Well, if we saw something like that. Paying you a Dunkin' Donuts, you just said you don't like coffee. What do you get from Dunkin' Donuts? Donuts only? I mean, what else is there? I mean, Baskin Robbins used so to be owned by them, so you could get ice cream I and think whatnot. You still can, can't you? I don't know if Baskin Robbins is completely bought out or what. Boston cream donuts. Hmm. I don't mind the Dunkin' Donut here or there, but it's not on top of my list. It's very generic. I'm not, listen, I'll eat a donut. Yeah, I'll right. Look at me, but, I mean, donuts aren't like. There's, no, there's no, like. I'll eat bagel. I'll eat the You house. like bagels? I'll eat the house and bagels. I, I support a lot of the smaller bakeries for the donuts and cupcakes and things of that nature. I mean, if I'm in a pinch or if I'm in a hurry and I know I'm not going to eat for a long time and I'm at Dunkin' to get a coffee or something, maybe I'll get a donut or a sandwich, but. Eight a dozen today, man. Valky, that's pretty impressive. The only the only donut I think can eat that amount of volume is Krispy Kremes when they're coming completely off the conveyor. Yeah, we Complete. There, oh my gosh. We yeah, we went there. I don't know. Erie PA has a has a little factory there that we stopped through on a business trip, our first business trip back way back when. Our own wow. Did you say the one with the IX on it? Yeah, that was that was an informal business trip, if you will. I want to say something, but I know as soon as I say it, I'll get it ridiculed. I think it'd be cool to have an autographed baseball. Oh, now all of a sudden it's cool. No, because uh, you couldn't do it on a jersey of uh, Roberto Elmar and Sandy Elmar. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah, Himes brings up a sensitive subject from yesterday when we went to the tribe game together. <laughs> I had the uh, the game plan to get an autograph from a player, you know, just on the side before the game. So we got there, you know, about an hour early or whatever. And I even thought, I'm like, well, I don't have any good baseballs. I'll just buy one at the field. I go to buy one, $35 they want for a baseball with nothing special on it. Nobody's name or anything. It's just a good old baseball that you can, you know, throw at a cage. And that squashed my hopes and dreams. I didn't get Hanley Ramirez's autograph. <laughs> cheaper to steal a ball from little league kids. Yes. It really is. Yeah. I, we, but that's what I, about it for I even told Himes, I'm like, I mean, I buy golf balls all the time, but what's more expensive? Oh, Tanny, the world. <clears throat> I guess I don't buy baseballs that often to know better. I thought you could get a bucket of balls, though, for like 40, 50 bucks. Bryce Wilson, rookie on card auto. Ooh, that's a clean looking card. Does it got something like on the back? Like a. I like it. it. Looks good. Going to the Braves. Yep. ATI Chris. <laughs> ATKI. ATKI Chris. I'm abbreviating the abbreviation. A former legend. Former legend in the game. Yes. Shane Green, black and white, out of 50, 33 of 50. Dude, the Tigers are getting some nice cards. And they're Javier Baez. playing really well right now. They might be the, the team to beat in the AL Central. <laughs> so dumb. The Indians are 5-1 and one at home right now. Really? Yeah. That's a good 1-2 on the road. That's so good. They're also playing in a blizzard, practically, in Minnesota. It's like 20 degrees. That's not going to change until the players agree to take less money. And you can cut down the regular season to 142. But They've been doing 162 games for how long now, it though? It hasn't been that long. If I'm not mistaken, it's maybe in the 90s, I want to say. Really? Clayton Kershaw, the magician. I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm not, it's 
It's more recent than you would think. That's a sweet card. Jackie Bradley. He's usually making some cool catches. Uh, Glaber Torres. But the issue is, is if you cut down like 142, you're going to make less TV money. Mitch Hanniger. Ooh. On card auto for the Mariners. I love his autograph. He's usually got a pretty cool one. I like what he does with the H. Going to the Mariners. Congratulations on your hit. Uh, that is... Let me find you. Mariners fan 2-4. Congratulations. So fitting name. Right. Very clean auto. Is that two autos in this box? I don't want to say anything, but they're always in the first two stacks so far. <laughs> No name. Uh, I think that's Miguel. No, Didi Gregorius. No name. Yankees. He's he's out for a little while. Didi? Yeah, hopefully Enduar's not. I thought he, he started. The season, I thought. No, Didi? I don't think it's the whole season. Is that official? And Mark McGuire. Nice. Enduar might be out for the season. He has like a torn... Shoulder tendon. Nothing on the backs. Torn Labron. Thank you, Val Valky, with the update. Max Scherzer. King of Wands, Jesus Aguila. Jesus. It's actually better though that you carry that guy. Really? I thought I heard my shoulder. No. Better than what? What's it compared Because like mine just popped out and it just like expanded it. Uh -huh. So like now mine's like a loose rubber band where it can slide in and out. So they like they want to go in and cut my labrum and then like tie it. I think Andrew's was like not, a slight tear. They it was like a very small amount, so that's why they're trying to see if he can rehab and build his strength back up by doing light activities. And if he can't, then they'll probably do a surgery. You literally take a tennis ball and throw it at a trampoline for like thirty minutes at a time. Last stack of box number Let's three. See the back of those. I don't know if I did. Yeah, you just did went I? through all of them. You went, Max? yeah, you went one by one. Yanni Gomes, weird seeing that. I'm taking that to get hit pretty hard. Hard man Davidson. Is it him getting hit by a pitch? No. Dude, that's what they should do for uh, Brandon Geyer. <laughs> Make him just get hit by a pitch. That see guy gets him, hit. Is he in? I don't know what his update Nelson is. Nelson Pedroia, out of 250. Nothing. All right, three boxes down, two to go. I'll tell you what, though. The, um, the AL East is crazy. Boston started off terrible. The Yankees started off terrible. Orioles started off like four and three or something. They Orioles were, won't last though. They weren't supposed to win like sixty games, but they're probably not even gonna have a starting pitcher that has more than ten wins. Uh oh, Valky thinks he might have saw a Jackie or not. Um, 
Let me sift back through that last stack and see if I can find Fort of Valky. What was it? Uh, 42 uniform for Philly. Carlos Correa? David Pedroia? And Anthony Rizzo. Nice. Nice low scoring game here. Pace of Brooklyn game. Uh, there's an Aaron Nola, but that's a common. Doolittle wearing 42. There it is. It's a Washington Nationals Sean Doolittle wearing number 42. Similar uniform as a Philly, I guess. Don't tell Bryce Harper that. <laughs> but nice short print going to Nationals. Bryce Harper is so poor he has to wear all of his Washington Nationals gear. Right. Yeah, well, because he's number three now in the Phillies, he's but he was 30. 34. So like Under Under Armour's gone pretty poor. I don't know if you know this or not. Really? So Under Armour's pretty poor. I didn't know that. But they haven't they haven't updated Bryce Harper's new logo. So all the equipment that Bryce Harper's wearing that's Under Armour, they peeled the four off of. Or did his he logo. just do that because they haven't produced it yet? I mean, they've had enough time that they shouldn't really put that out there. I don't but disagree, also, especially for a multi million dollar company the, allegedly. The Phillies belt that he is wearing. Is a 34 Washington Nationals belt. Hmm. All right. Apparently, everyone's going to start hearing Drake May come out. <laughs> Who would have thought you would care about a Brooklyn Pacers <laughs> game so at the end of the year? If Brooklyn wins, it's the first time they make the playoffs since like 2012, I think it is. 2014, 2015. Which I don't remember Brooklyn being good enough to make the playoffs back then. Well, now, what's his name? Killing it. Do a little? No, uh, Russ Booker. What's his name? D'Angelo. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> back to back three pointers. This is a, a sick joke. Number four. I'm going to do this stack first because all the autos have been in the other two. Ooh. He's noticing a pattern, so we're going to make a change. We'll change up. Aaron Nola. Robbie Ray. Oh, world, Ozzy Albies, Valkyrie, Valky, we expect better from you. For what? Oh, not, not noticing the Phillies or Nationals difference in uniforms. We just we expect we have higher expectations for you. Sorry, Blake Snell. Ronald the Guzman out of 250. Hmm. 
<laughs> the Phillies aren't bad this year. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Edwin and Carcion out of 50, 16 out of 50. Nice negative card for the Mariners. He had a big game today. He's going against the Ryan Barucki. Ooh, Blue Jays rookie auto. Nice little autograph. Not Vlad Jr., but it will do. And you were wrong. <laughs> 9798 AK09. Congratulations on your hits. That didn't take long to prove you wrong, my bud. <laughs> no name? Jose Altuve? How'd you Houston? know? Shortest person in the league. <laughs> Becky's posting Bo's auto. I love it. it. It's a bidding war. Himes is going to have to outbid somebody. I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Himes Himes, uh, jumped off the deep end on Facebook. It's not jumping off the deep end. What would you call it then? I I was addicted to social media. That's a fact. Is that not a fact? You know, I don't know. I don't watch you at night. We were made fun. I've been made fun of in our group chat with PFBL. Uh, Edwin Diaz. Uh, Edwin Diaz. One of the silver packs. We had, uh, had bad luck so far in those silver packs. When's uh, Series 2 come out? I have no idea. Not until later in the season. Yeah. Obviously. But I, I don't know out. the exact date. Does it come out in the middle and then an update comes out towards the end? Mm. Maybe. I mean, it's a long. it just feels a long ways away from now. But you could be right. Freddie Freeman? King of Swords? Juan Carlos Stanton? Another blue. Oh, black Ooh. and white. Eddie Rosario. Out that of is auto. sweet. It's out of 50. 34 of 50. Dude, the Twins getting the bazooka gum back. And now a negative Rosario on-card auto. Wow. Great hit. Twins get, going to the FRS. Hey, hey, Quail, I have a one-on-one George Springer if you want it. It's <laughs> graded out. 9.5 through Beckett, bud. Is it still available on our eBay page? No. He took it down. He came to it's terms. Not, it's not cheap. That Rosario card is ridiculous. Big fan of this card. I'm a big fan of the the black and white cards, but cool picture, cool autograph, good player. All right, now we're all getting. Not a fan of Beckett grades. Ooh, I like Beckett grades. I I feel like Beckett is better for the modern cards, yeah. and the PSA is better for the the older. I mean, I wouldn't say just vintage, but even during the junk era, if you will. <laughs> Listen, I'll sell you the Springer if you want to go take it to PSA. Go for it. Who's out here one day trying to trade me batting Alan Zank? Other stuff. All right. That does it for box number four. On to our last box number five. Good luck to everybody. I don't know if they have autos in uh, Gypsy Queen of Bo Jackson. This year, anyways. 
I think it's just base and short print base. Oh, they do. That's the one on one. Or they could even have it. <laughs> Should have seen Himes' face. It was like nails on a chalkboard. All right. Box topper. Last of the break. Cedric Mullins. Whit Mirfield. Kenley Jensen on nice. 150. No autos in the box toppers. You give the boxes up. What? Uh, the Red Rock wants the uh, Jersey from the Red Rock. Oh, I'm going to garbage that if you're not destroyed. I don't think I did the Jersey from the Red Rock. All of them? You said as many as you did. What did you text me? Uh, I mean, I was keeping one for myself, but. Well, there's five of them. Are there any? There's cuts on them. Actually, there's cuts on them. No, did you cut them on the top or? Oh, this one's cut on the front. Uh oh. Well, I'm not. That one's cut on the front too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here. Eyesores aren't gonna stick around by me for long. Here we go. Valky said everybody would wonder why the stream crashed when we pulled a one on one bow. <laughs> I mean, we pulled Hank Aaron's before. We've seen some pretty cool stuff, and it is what it is. That's why we do it. Valky, we'd rather, if we, if we we'd rather one, see it than not see it. Valky, if, if we pull the one on one, we're going to go to a private chat and make fun. <laughs> Me and you in our own room. Two men. Are the lights on or off for that discussion? All of it doesn't it's up to <laughs> He wants the lights off, lights go off. Lights stay on. Tops cards? Yeah. Yeah. Tops does make it easier on the wax. <laughs> now he said he'd make a YouTube burning the bow. Just for the clickbait. Belky, I would I would be at least ten clicks, if not twenty views. Or what was Bo's number? Belky, you don't thirty four. Thirty four honorary views. Valky, you don't deserve that car. Let's be honest with each other. Oh, yeah, he does. You... He deserves it. Let's pull it. Right now, there's no better time or place. Wow, Himes doesn't even know his number. It's 16. Yeah, football is 34. This is not even remotely close to football. Pops has thrown curveballs at us in the past. Oh. Justin, show, oh. Me, show me a Mike Trout auto. Oh. Oh, you can't. Ever since he became Mr. $450 million, it's almost $450,000 for his auto. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a hell of a reach. All right, here we go. Last box. The Magician, Corey Kluber. <laughs> Are you sure? It's, is that Kluber? Yeah. Wow. He's stunned because mm -hmm. of his last okay. performance. All right. It's Kluber's trash in the first month and a half. Chris Davis in the third pile out of 150. I like it. Chris Davis. Crush with a K. Going to the Athletics. Great auto. Uh, Kyle, also known as eBay username KYL-SPARG. Congratulations on your Chris Davis auto. Congrats, buddy. And that, my friend, 
is probably what you wanted, if you ask me anyways. They're always there. I I like the uh, Barry Zito days. Huh. When the, and especially when they were those. Barry Zito, there's like Mark Mulder. Is yeah. that who it was? No, Mark Mulder wasn't he? No, I'm th thinking of Mark. Pri was it Pryor and Cubs? Pryor's with Cubs, yeah. That was Kerry Wood, Mark Pryor. Yeah. But who was it? There was another. There's a was. third. There's a third pitcher on the A's back then. Oh. It was backwards even there. Cedric Mullins. No, 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 oh, you, you went to the backs. Cedric Mullins. Second bazooka. That's pretty impressive. Cedric Mullins. And especially a rookie card is even cooler. Uh, Mullen over Mullen. That is going to the Orioles. TT Fly Ock 7. Uh, Acuna Jr. Portugal. Falky said he saw Vlad short print. Vlad, Vlad uh, Sr., if you will. Thunder? Mike Trout? Lightning and the Thunder. Interesting. You want me to start? Oh! David Dahl, logo swap. You want me to start singing uh, Old Town Road? What the? <laughs> what Billy Ray Sire style. What about that foul you didn't think was a foul last night, which was clearly a. Wow. Oh, yeah, the March Madness game. Auburn definitely let the referees decide that one. I mean, it was a foul. It, so, it was called a foul, I agree. Oh, I, but it was. I don't think it should be a foul, but I also don't play basketball. But By the rule book. Uh, Chris there Lewis. he is, man of the hour. Jeremy Jeffries, out of, was that 250? He's going to be uh, called up, or he's going to be. Is he pitched tomorrow? I think activated is the right word I'm looking for. As soon as this week, I think. Looking for one more auto. Oh, no namer. Tampa Bay. My favorite guy, Willie Adams. I like Willie. Will he make it? Betty, don't. Okay. Aaron Judge, that's a cool one. Is that a 93 on the back? Code number? 31. That's a shorty. Good eye, Hines. That's a cool card, too. It's a basic. This is like flirting with Stadium Tucker? Club. Getting some cool action shots. Yeah, what's that coming? That's like June. Strength, so. Aaron Judge. Nolan Arenado with the 250. Players Weekend. That's what that uh, judge one was. Alrighty. Think we got an auto in here? Last stack. I think. We got a bazooka. We got a Chris Davis. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Brandon Nemo. <laughs> there it is. Jeez. We were getting concerned there. Brandon Nemo. Nice on card auto. Qual saying that Judge is the best card of the break. 30 bucks. Oh. I would highly doubt that. I would think just off the top of my head that Rosario goes for a lot more. Obviously, Judge is a more popular name and player, but. Yeah. And the Rosario, you're right. All right. No bow 101, so the hunt continues, Hines. Nothing on the backs. All right. Serve's going to put all those together really quick. Here you go. The first two are the bazooka backs. Uh, William. 
Cedric Mullins, runs out of the Bazooka Gumbacks, followed by Ryan Barucki, Bryce Wilson, Corbin Burns, Luis Urias, Michael Kopachuk, Brandon Nemo, Mitch Haniger, and I got her. Rossiel and Glacius. Crush Chris Davis. I know it's not the right. It's, it's not the right. but speaking of Crush Davis from Chris the Davis. Orioles. He's like getting twenty million dollars still. He like doesn't even he doesn't even belong in the MLB. He's still getting paid. Yeah, I thought it was deferred. It wasn't deferred. I thought that was that picture we got signed. If you yeah, look at the no. asterisks, I thought it said deferred until twenty forty. Oh really? Is that I thought he was getting paid until like twenty twenty two. I think he is, but some of that money is deferred until oh, I didn't look at the fine print, but it's a, I saw it's just how much Bobby money he was getting Bonilla. paid. It's a Bobby Bonilla situation. That's, That's what they tried to do with Bryce Harper. Uh, Eddie Rosario on card auto out of 50. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's been fun. It's been real. Um, we will see you guys here in a little bit. Uh, we're breaking Inception. I think all those teams sold. Yeah, sold out, and we are excited. That is going to be here at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you guys watch. Please, Valky, please uh, come watch to keep us make sure we're in line. I don't know. Did Valky get any teams? Uh, what, Inception? Yeah. I did not look. Fuck you being a little cheap. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys follow us on all our social media pages. Follow the links below. At Bearded Breakers, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Next week, we are not idiots. We know Game of Thrones is coming out. We understand that we cannot compete with Game of Thrones. And we're greedy as hell and want to watch it. Yeah, exactly. We want to relate to everybody that watches that show. Uh, we're excited for it so, to come out. But that's going to kind of alter the next few weeks, if you will, not just next week. Well, in two weeks, I'll be on vacation, and it will be Oh, yeah, Easter. I forgot your religious retreat. <laughs> Times has a Easter trip all planned out. I didn't even know it was Easter. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you're right. So I guess it is a bigger deal than just next weekend in terms of Game of Thrones. It's going to be the next eight weeks. So our well, times uh, it are, could be weird because usually they like to skip a week somewhere. Yeah, that's true. So our times might be a little funky on Sundays. It might not be as late as like right now. We might try to do it a little bit earlier just so we can catch that show with everybody else live. But um, which I think too, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> last year we broke Diamond Kings seven times. Hell of a lot. Seven times, and right now we have scheduled at least four breaks. So. Look for those postings. They'll go up on Tuesday. We hope to see you. Hope you bought into Inception. Yep. Don't be a cheap ass. We'll see you there. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it.